For question number 7, we have the function f of x is equal to 4x plus 3 over 5x minus 1. And our goal is to find an equation for its inverse. So here are four steps. Step 1, let me write this on the side first. Step 1, whenever you see f of x and you want to find an equation for the inverse, let's write f of x as y. So I see f of x, I will replace that with y, and I will have 4x plus 3 on the top over 5x minus 1. So the first step is just to write um, f of x as y. And the second step, step 2. Right here you see y, you're going to change that to x. Right here you see x, you're going to change that to y. We are going to switch the x and the y. That's step number two. I will just write this down as switch x uh, to y. Switch x to y, switch y to x, interchange the rows of x and y. Right here, I see y. I'm going to write that as x. And right here, we have 4x plus 3. It becomes 4y plus 3 over. 5x minus 1 becomes 5y minus 1. The most important step for inverse equations is to it's the idea that the x and the y switches. Okay? And the most, or perhaps the only step that you have to do some calculation is uh, step number 3. You are going to solve. You are going to isolate. Let me just write this as. We are going to isolate. Um, the new y. So that's why I made this y in red. We are going to try our really best to isolate um, this new y. So here we have an equation with fractions. Whenever you have an equation with fractions, let's multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator, which is just 5y minus 1. So I will uh, multiply 5y minus 1 here, and perhaps I will put this on this side. 5y minus 1. Doesn't matter if you put it left or right. But the idea, multiply both sides by 5y minus 1, the denominator. And we will see that on this side, the 5y minus 1 cancels out with each other. Okay? And right here, I have 5y minus 1 times x. I'm going to distribute x backwards. Take x, multiply with the 5, and the y, like x times 5y. So this part I will get 5x, and we also have the y right here. And we also take the x, multiply with the negative 1. So x times negative 1, we will have minus x. Equals to this side right here, we only have 4y plus 3. Equals to 4y plus 3. And now you see that this equation has y on both sides. So to isolate y, we have to first make sure that all the y's are on one side and then the rest are on the other side. Right here I have the 4y, let me bring this to the other side by minus 4y here and 4y here. And if we do that, we will get 5xy, okay, 5xy minus 4y, so minus 4y. And I still have the minus x, and that will equal to this two cancels out already, and we have the three on the right hand side. I want all the y's. I want all the y's on one side. I don't want this x. I don't want this negative x right here. So let me add x here, so that this two will cancel, and plus x on the other side as well. With that, we will end up with five x y. Minus 4y, that will equal to x plus 3. Just like that. And now, I uh, have 5xy minus 4y. You see both of them have the y, right? And the trick is, I'm going to factor out the y, and I'll leave with 5x minus 4. So I factor out the y, I bring down the y outside of the parentheses, and in the parentheses, I have 
5x minus 4. That equals to x plus 3. And one more step will be done. Let's divide both sides by 5x minus 4. So we see that divide both sides by 5x minus 4 here, divide this by 5x minus 4 here, these two cancels out. And I will just leave with y on the left hand side that equals to x plus 3 over 5x minus 4. Okay. And the answer is just this red y. Step number 4. I will just make a new mark. Step number 4. The new y, once you isolate it, is exactly it's the inverse, the inverse of the original function. So right here, I isolate the y, and I will say the final answer, I will replace that with my inverse function notation. F inverse, okay, the, the inverse of the original uh, function is equal to that, x plus 3 over 5x minus 4. And that's it.